home is where the heart is. It's also where the heart rate skyrockets if you live in any of these insane pieces of real estate. Some of these abodes have million dollar price tags, while others are so affordable they're part of the line of tiny portable properties. Regardless, if you're on the lookout for a new place to live, you won't find anything like these. The hub's taking you on a search outside your average listing to find you these 10 daring houses you won't believe exist. And while we're browsing the cliffs and craters these lucky people call home, click the subscribe button. You don't need to live in a weird pod or lighthouse to see all the odd things around our planet. You just need to follow the hub. Volcano House Nothing says home like a scenic pastoral setting of a volcano. At least that's what Huell Hauser thought when he purchased the property in 2003. Hauser was a public television personality in California, and he caught wind of the unique 60-acre spread through some of his local connections. Situated in the middle of the Mojave Desert, Hauser fell in love with this dome home that stands atop the 150-foot-high dormant volcano. With its cavernous ceilings, glass doors, and wraparound viewing area, the estate is basically like a desert version of the Space Needle, minus the needle part. The main house is futuristic oasis, sharing the elevator crater with a man-made lake. It would all seem like an alien outpost on some faraway planet, if not for a massive garage and guest house at the foot of the mini mountain. When Hauser passed on, his volcanic home was left to Chapman University, a school he worked very closely with in his lifetime. In 2015, the home went back on the market for 650 grand. If you end up wanting a big chunk of the desert, start saving up, because this interesting home might be one of the cheapest on this list. Ham Westfallen Although the Volcano House was built on an ancient rock formation, it doesn't have the history associated with Ham Westfallen. In World War II, the fortified concrete bunker saw as many air attack as it protected troops and supplies hiding out within its structure. At five stories tall, the huge bunker wasn't going anywhere to begin with, but its designation as a historical landmark meant it was going to stay around forever. With government approval, German firm Amort Architecture built a massive overhanging penthouse suite atop the old air raid shelter. Towering an additional 45 feet above the top of the bunker, the newer complex was designed by architects from Amort with the assistance of two teachers. So as to not disturb the historical power of the original bunker, the added home hovers over top of it, with support from well-placed steel girders and load-bearing walls. A band of light surrounds the girder so, at night, passerbys can make out the difference between the monument and the housing complex above. The bottom floor of the penthouse is a gallery that offers views of the surround landscape, but a better vantage point would be from the flat rooftop with an expanse of garden and pond. Cliffside House This house would be a perfect headquarters for the Justice League, not only because of its majestic views, its ability to seemingly float in midair, and its secluded location, but also because it's totally fake. Yes, this cliffside retreat looks like a combination of modern art museum and the home of the last people on Earth, but unfortunately it hasn't been built. Yet. In order to craft the image of this daring complex, the designer, Alex Hogriff, drafted this overhanging home with a modern marble decor, but the angles jut out in a way that doesn't feel out of place with the surrounding cliffs. Alex describes the need to shape the perfect crashing waves at the base of the cliff and the receding hills in the distance to create the right sense of depth. In order to make the house blend in with the rest of the image, he found the perfect time of day, twilight, and just the subtlest amount of fog to make this illusion a reality. To Alex, who now works for the Boston Architectural Visualization Studio, designed to still, his experimental images are meant to inspire the next era of builders. Until that time, we'll have to continue imagining it as a place where Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman could hang out. Desert Nomad House you wouldn't normally associate rusting steel boxes as the height of luxury, but these tarnished orange housing units form a desert oasis in Arizona. Nestled into the Tucson Mountains, these three cubes have their own bathroom and contain a combined 1,500 square feet of space. They're not gigantic, mind you, but they have every amenity you need to survive a stay in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. And they're equipped with kitchens, living areas, bedrooms, and an office. Even more amazing than the architecture is the surrounding landscape. There isn't another soul for miles, and the only other tall structures are the saguaro cacti, which tower over the rusted boxes. If you were envisioning this as a kind of getaway, then you haven't been paying attention, because these structures, designed by Rick Joy, are intended to make you feel at one with your surroundings. This home may not be for everybody, but at least other architects can appreciate its layout, since it won the award in architecture from the American Academy of Arts and Letters. 
Last sold for $975,000, this is the perfect place for an introvert looking to become one with nature, or a villain from Breaking Bad looking for a nice retirement hideaway. Stiltsville. If you're parched from all this desert talk, then take a step outside your house in Stiltsville. There you'll find a front yard and a backyard submerged entirely in water. Located in Biscayne National Park in Florida, Stiltsville is less of a town and more of a staggered grouping of homes, separated far apart by long stretches of water. Just off the coast of Florida's northernmost keys, Stiltsville started out as a few minor fishing shacks in the 1930s. During Prohibition, this was also the place for secret shindigs and illegal gatherings as bars like the Bikini Club and the Quarter Deck Club would pop up to serve visitors from the nearby Miami Beach. The shacks built out and houses started to dot the coastline, all held up by familiar stilts. By the 1960s, even President Richard Nixon was vacationing in what was then called the Winter White House. Unfortunately, hurricanes did away with most of the homes and nowadays only seven buildings remain. Star Trek House Space is the final frontier, but since not everyone is a member of Starfleet, some fans try to bring a bit of space into their home. One British citizen ended up dipping into their savings to make their living room into a place where no man's gone before. Inspired by the Star Trek Voyager set, Anthony Alleny invested 10 years of his life remodeling his house. He wasn't able to enjoy the result of all his hard work, however, because he later was convicted and imprisoned for some unsavory crimes. As a result, his flat was put on the market for 70,000 pounds. Not too bad for a permanent set inspired by his show that tended to cost around 1.3 million per episode. Although the disco ball feels less than Star Trek, the rest of the apartment is equipped with accurate control panels, perfectly shaped doors and hallways, a transporter room, and what looks like a stock of Romulan ale. Sadly, any prospective buyers couldn't get a mortgage up for the place because Anthony's upgrades had removed the oven from the kitchen and blocked all the windows. So perhaps it's not the most ideal place in which to live long and prosper. Transparent House. In Japan, there's a house that would be perfect for a ghost, but not too great for anyone expecting privacy. Su Fujimoto designed a fully transparent house. With the exception of white floors and support beams, the rest of the construction materials are all see-through, making this home look more like a 3D, life-size blueprint of a building rather than a completed building itself. Known as House Na and situated right in Tokyo, the 914 square foot home is interlaced with white steel beams and while it looks more like a house you could order in an Ikea catalog, its design is inspired by a tree. The architects note that it's not exactly tree-like in its shape or color, but the feeling of communal activities and shared experiences is meant to mirror the social structure of different animals all coexisting within the same living plant. With entrances and exits on multiple floors and many different ledges on which to sit, dangle your legs, and observe the outside world, this transparent house seems to offer as many views looking outside as it does looking in. Skateboard House Straight from the mind of Pierre-André Saint-Exergues, a French pro skater, the Pass House is a fully incorporated skate park and living center. Even if you love the Tony Hawk's pro skater on PlayStation, you might not be physically ready to handle layout of this space. Divided into a ribbon shape that connects the inside and the outside of the house, there are three separate areas, each equipped with their own skating surfaces. The furniture, the closets, and the doors are integrated into the interior's general curve, making everything skatable. While the living room, bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen work for a living, sleeping, and eating, they're perfect for the skater who's unwilling to put away the board, even for a minute. The firm that designed these 21st century living quarters has yet to build more of these structures, but a successful exhibition of the prototype house at La Gate Lyrique, a new art museum in Paris, means we may see more of these on the flip side. World's Smallest House These days, tiny houses are all the rage. Millennials are thriftier than older generations, and are many are looking to spend their money and time outside the house. In reaction to that, Designer Van Bo Le Mensel is taking the tiny house philosophy to the extreme. He's developed minuscule housing units that are only a meter square. With small upgrades, these homes can be made portable with wheels at the bottom. They can also be stood upright so that the owner can sit and work at a small desk table that extends from the wall. Most creatively, they can be laid long ways on their side. From this angle, the sloped ceiling can act as a resting place for the resident's pillow. One small house for man, one giant leap for mankind. Flintstone House 
For years, Dick Clark would always ring in the new year. From Times Square to Hawaii, he would lead Americans into the new year as the first friendly face we'd all like to see on television. However, his idea of home design was rooted pretty firmly in the past. Inspired by the Flintstones, his flat roof cave dwelling is a mansion fit for bedrock. The house eventually sold for $1.778 million, but its backstory is a little less rooted in the Hanna-Barbera cartoon than you might think. Apparently, the land was part of the Santa Monica Mountains Conservatory, and while Dick Clark owned the 23 acres on which his house would be built, the conservation group was opposed to any type of modern structure being built. As part of the compromise, Clark and the architects settled in a structure made of wood and steel foundation, then surrounded by concrete. With the rocky exterior, the conservationists were at least pleased with the natural look. They were probably also happy with the fact that the only carbon footprint from Flintstone cars are the driver's actual feet. This has been 10 daring houses you won't believe exist. Now that you know what's possible, get to your drafting table and start Frank Lloyd riding your own weirdo monstrosity mansion into existence. When you're done, come on back to the hub for more unique factoids and stories. We'll see you next time.